Get ready to delve into the shadowy corners of the internet as we bring you five chilling stories about the dark side of Discord. Brace yourself for spine-tingling tales that will make you question the true nature of online connections. Lock your doors, turn up the volume, and prepare to witness the darker side of digital encounters. Story number one. As a proud member of the PC gaming community, I refuse to hide my identity and let creepy individuals force me into seclusion, even when facing uncomfortable interactions with random male players online. While platforms like Discord offer advantages in avoiding unwanted messages, being a member of multiple gaming servers exposes me to unsolicited and potentially inappropriate encounters. One game I particularly enjoy is Dead by Daylight a horror game where players assume the roles of killers or survivors. Among the players, there was one who specialized as the clown killer, triggering childhood fears and making the game more intense. Though the clown player's dedication to role-playing was initially appreciated, his unsettling focus on me became alarming. During a game session, the clown player joined our voice chat, fixated solely on hearing my voice. His eerie behavior and unsettling breathing through the microphone created a discomforting atmosphere. Despite pleas from my team to stop, he persisted, and crude jokes from the others only added to the unease. Thankfully, my fellow survivors recognized his behavior and took action. They kicked him from the game and voice chat, providing some relief. However, the next morning, I discovered a barrage of threatening and misogynistic messages from the clown player on Discord. I blocked him immediately and took steps to protect myself online, including using a VPN. This experience left me deeply unsettled, but it serves as a warning to other female gamers. Story number two. Wait till you listen to story number two when an innocent online relationship takes a sinister turn. A Discord pact leads to a heartbreaking tragedy. My son connected with a girl named Lori on Discord, forming a close bond over their shared love for a pirate game. They became an online couple, despite the physical distance between them. However, one day, my son's behavior changed and he withdrew from social interactions. We assumed his long-distance relationship had ended, granting him space to heal. But then, we overheard him chatting affectionately with someone on Discord, mentioning Laurie's name. Confused, we believe he had either moved on or found a new love interest. However, one Saturday, our pill organizer, typically filled to the brim, lay nearly empty on the bathroom floor. In a panic, I raced to my son's room, where my husband desperately shook him, pleading for him to wake up. The bed was soiled with vomit and empty pill trays littered the floor. Amidst the turmoil, the glow from his computer monitors caught my attention. Glancing over, I was confronted with a chilling image. A webcam window displaying the lifeless body of a young girl suspended in mid-air. The sight sent shivers down my spine, but I focused on my son, joining my husband and urging him to regain consciousness. Thankfully, he survived, but sadly, a girl on the computer screen did not. It turned out that they had made a pact to escape their pain. Therapy became a priority, and our son has made significant progress in his recovery. Story number three. The story number three brings us from gaming camaraderie to heart-wrenching loss. In the world of Insurgency Sandstorm, our gaming community transcended the virtual realm. We bonded deeply through our Discord server playing together and forming genuine friendships. One member, Colin, a skilled sniper with a Scottish accent, brought joy to our group. When he announced his teaching job in Indonesia, we bid him farewell with mixed emotions. He promised to keep in touch, sharing stories and photos of his adventures. However, our world shattered when a devastating earthquake and tsunami struck Indonesia in September 2018. Concerned, I reached out to Colin on Discord, but his silence grew agonizing. We shared our worries with fellow players, realizing Colin had been in Palu, the hardest hit area. Deep down, I mourned his likely demise and prayed for his peace. I also hoped his family, wherever they were, found solace and safety in the face of unimaginable loss. Story number four. This story number four highlights that when love leads to danger, 
A few years ago, I met a girl on Tinder, and our connection was instant. As our relationship blossomed, from charming coffee dates to passionate nights, we were swept away in the thrill of new love. But then, during a serious conversation, she dropped a bombshell. She identified as polyamorous and desired the freedom to see others casually. Infatuated, I agreed without fully comprehending the consequences. Weeks passed, and despite my initial consent, jealousy began to consume me. To address my discomfort, she introduced me to a Discord server where like-minded individuals gathered. I joined a server called The Farm, naively thinking it had an agricultural theme. The members were friendly, helping me understand polyamory while praising the girl I was seeing. I engaged in conversation with another member, although I didn't envision it progressing further. It was primarily to please my partner, who seemed content with the arrangement. However, the situation took a distressing turn when I received an unexpected message. To my shock, it was from someone I presumed to be a girl, but it turned out to be a guy who sent explicit content and expressed a desire for a three-way encounter involving me and my partner. Dismissing the messages, I assumed the person would be removed from the server for inappropriate behavior. Yet, when I mentioned it to my partner, she defended him, accusing me of overreacting due to jealousy. Time went on and I noticed a man following me during a grocery shopping trip. Initially, I brushed it off, but his presence became more frequent. Later that day, my apartment door was violently rattled, triggering a surge of fear for my safety. I dialed 911 while retrieving my firearm from a safe. Confronting the intruder, I shouted about the impending police arrival. Miraculously, the pounding ceased as sirens grew louder. Shortly after, my partner sent an apologetic message, leaving me puzzled. After the police left, I called my partner, and through tears, she confessed the truth. The person who had sent me explicit messages had become aggressive with her, demanding she end our relationship and prioritize him. When she rejected him, he turned to stalking, eventually locating me. The terrifying realization hit me that my involvement in polyamory had exposed me to genuine danger. We ended the relationship shortly after, as the incident irreparably damaged our connection. It made it clear that I wanted no further contact, and warned them to stay away. Since then, the mere mention of Discord evokes a bitter taste, as I am all too aware of the darker side of the internet and the potential lurking dangers within it. Story number 5 Story number 5, Unveiling the Eerie Whispers of a Team Player During the lockdown, my gaming hours skyrocketed, and I spent countless hours playing online games with my friends on Discord. One night, while immersed in Overwatch, something strange happened. We started hearing whispers through someone's microphone. Initially, we brushed it off, assuming it was a joke, but as the whispers persisted, we became unnerved and asked who was responsible. No one owned up to it, which made me laugh nervously, finding the situation genuinely creepy. However, the whispers continued, and I checked the Discord icon to identify the source. It turned out to be our friend Phil. I called him out, telling him to stop the creepy whispers and jokingly asking if he was possessed. But to my surprise, Phil adamantly denied whispering. I insisted that I could see his icon lighting up, indicating that it was indeed him. Yet Phil remained resolute, denying any involvement. He even whispered again after speaking, as if to prove his point or play a prank. The atmosphere grew tense as his voice conveyed genuine seriousness and conviction. It was either an incredibly convincing act or a sincere belief that he wasn't whispering. The topic was dropped and the voice chat became uncomfortable. To this day, I still don't know what was happening with Phil. He rarely joins our gaming sessions anymore, so we never encountered the whispers again. I wonder if it was a manifestation of a mental issue or something else entirely. Regardless, it was the creepiest moment I've ever experienced on a Discord voice call. I hope Phil is doing better wherever he is and whatever he's involved in. As we come to the end of our journey through these five chilling stories, we hope you're still gripping the edge of your seat. Stay vigilant, trust your instincts, and safeguard your online experiences. 
Thank you for joining us on this chilling journey into the dark side of Discord. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your own stories of online encounters gone awry.